This is why marketing doesn't work and what to do about it. If you're coming off the back of a failed campaign or marketing that doesn't work for your industry, you've tried a lot of different things, you've tried everything, or you're in a battle uh, with leads that you can't close, uh, I have some good news for you. There is actually a fix to this and it's not as complicated as you might think. So what most people tend to do is they try to run some ads or do some sort of traffic generation. Now maybe it's even traditional marketing, something like that. And let's say that you have a high ticket product or service. Now, if you have a higher ticket product, like, you know, say between 100,000 and like a million dollars, then this is probably even more important because the higher the ticket price, the more this applies. So let me ask you, if you were scrolling through Facebook or you'd done a quick search on Google and you saw an ad for a service that's similar to yours, you click, you inquire, and someone calls you and let's say right away let's say this company is just amazing at getting to their prospects at a time when you know their solution is on their mind so you, you get a call right away would you whip out your credit card and drop five thousand ten thousand a hundred thousand dollars right there and then now if you're like most people, the answer is probably no, unless you have one of those hair on fire problems, you know, you're bleeding out and, you know, someone's selling bandages kind of thing. Like, and, and yes, there are those, those uh, people, but guess how many as a percentage there are of those types of people. It's about one to three in every 100. So yeah, at, at most, three people are gonna be ready to buy out of 100 inquiries. Now this is an absolute disaster, especially if you've got a high lead cost, which I mean, it's, it's impossible to scale that kind of business because customers have questions. They wanna know who you are. Can you even deliver? What's my return on investment going to be? There's 100 questions that they're gonna be asking and wanting answers to. And they're all valid questions that they should be asking as a diligent buyer. You should be asking as a diligent buyer, unless you know they hate their money, which you know there are those people out there, but they're few and far between. So what I'm getting at is what you've actually been told is not wrong. You do need to do the advertising. You do need to generate traffic of some sort at some point in your, your marketing and sales process. It's just not the whole picture. See, in order to build the relationship, typically people need 20 or more interactions or touch points before they buy from you. And again, the higher the ticket product, so, you know, especially like, I mean, we've worked with engineering firms and, you know, their, their average sale price is like $3 million. They have extraordinarily long buying cycles. But if you can get a number of touch points, a number of interactions with your business, your you or your brand, then you can actually speed up the sales cycle and you can make marketing work that didn't work previously. Because imagine, you know, someone asking to marry you on the first date. Like it just, it does not work. Like you have to build that relationship. And a lot of people going to marketing going, hey, cool, add landing page, or website and inquiry, great, I've got myself a sale. Well, that's especially now, like especially in the digital age, that's not actually how things work. We have to build that relationship. So that's the, the other part of the picture that's missing. And the way that we do that, and I'm not gonna be one of these guys who tells you kind of, you know, that, that you should be doing something without giving you, you know, the actual ways to, to do that. The way to do that is with multi-channel marketing. So that's your, your small hinge that swings a, a big door. Um, if you can accelerate the process by hitting your, your prospects with email and social and video and press releases and retargeting and some great content that's answering their questions and covering their objections and all of these wonderful and lovely things, imagine what that would do to the relationship, even in a short space of time. Like imagine someone you know that that you were you were going on a, on a date with, um, and you you saw them once a week for say you know uh, a month. You've had four connections with uh, with that that person, but imagine if you saw them every day for a week. You've actually seen them seven times. 
So again, we bring it back to this concept of relationship. If you're expecting people to drop good money on products and services without a relationship, I've got the amazing news that you can actually build a relationship with those prospects quickly. Instead of saying, hey, drop a huge amount of money with us without knowing us at all. That's, it's, it's not really a, a realistic expectation. And look, I've done that. I've certainly done that. I've, I've run campaigns where we've generated hundreds of leads, thousands of leads even, uh, for our own business. And the, the nurturing, the relationship, the content, it just wasn't there. So there was no relationship with our target market. There was, there was just nothing. And so we were asking them to make a fairly major decision on very, very little information and zero relationship. So in contrast, imagine applying value on top of value and going deep with that customer really quickly. What do you think that would do for the relationship? See, it is actually possible to get marketing to work, but you have to apply the full marketing picture. You can't just go, hey, great, let's generate some leads and let's hope that we can close, you know, five out of 10. Like it's, it's just not realistic without a relationship. But if you have a great relationship building machine, if you're putting out amazing content, if you're connecting with uh, prospects where they're at and you're answering and covering, answering their questions and not, and covering their objections if you're like if they know a lot about you uh, and about what you do and they can see the fit with you and that your solution is actually the one that they need before they even speak to you that's where the leverage is so hopefully this has given you a bit of light at the end of the tunnel uh, to show you that you can actually get marketing campaigns working even in industries and even in businesses where it just hasn't worked before by applying some of these slightly longer term uh, principles although we're not talking forever within 90 days you can see massive transformations and 90 days is not a long time in business you can see improved conversion rates with with great content with great retargeting with multiple interactions if you're putting some some good stuff in the hands of your prospects and potential buyers then wow you are going to see a change very very quickly and it, it actually doesn't take long uh, so Hopefully that, uh, that shows you that uh, stepping into the full picture and not just uh, kind of hoping for the best on the first date is, you know, that, that there is some potential there and you can actually uh, get your marketing working and you can take back control of your